What's up guys, PennSancho8505 here. Today, we're gonna to be walking into the realm of affordability. We're running Mark's trains today. So step aside, Lionel, it's Mark's Madness today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. This is gonna be a good video. Our first Mark's engine we will be taking a look at tonight is the Molnar number 81. This is a great little engine based on a Alco FA, I believe. And I have it pulling a string of Mark's freight cars to look kind of like a little uh, work train. I really like this engine and I like that I have a matching caboose for it. The next train we'll be looking at is the Marx 994. Now the 994 is actually the largest locomotive that Marx made that uses the standard four-wheel motor. A the fun fact there for you. Now it is basically just an empty shell with a motor in it, but I mean it pulls decent and it runs great. Next up is the Marks number 4000 New York Central E7. This is a good little engine. It pulls good and it runs great. Now, it does have a single reduction motor, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, I, I don't know of any other uh, Marks E7s that use a single reduction motor, but other than that, I mean, it runs great. Um, now, it is missing the horns on the top, so I'll have to get replacements for those eventually. But, it looks pretty good for what it is. Next is the Mark 1666. This is a great engine and a great set. Now, I find it kind of interesting that they lettered the engine for the Penn Central. Reason why I say that is because the Penn Central never had steam locomotives. Uh, the Penn Central came after the Pennsylvania and the New York Central fully dieselized. So I think it's an interesting choice that they did that. But other than that, I think it's nice. Next up is the Marks number 1095. Now I have the engine and its matching set of passenger cars to go with it and the separate sale B unit for it. Uh, this is a great set. Um, I like that this engine actually lights up as well. And all the coasters are supposed to light up. Now, the actual like coach at the front there, uh, for some reason the light's not working, so I'll have to get in there and fix that. But other than that, this is a great set. All right, so it's been a lot of fun so far. But before we get to the last engine, let's take a quick break and we'll be right back, all right? Hi, I'm Ray the Railroad Man. I love these old Marx trains, but I need to address something very important with you guys. When buying a Marx train, make sure to check the motor. It may have a fat wheel. When you look underneath and you see gear teeth at the flange, that means you have a fat wheel and it won't go through Lionel switches and crossovers. If you do, it could lead to very serious disasters like this one, and you don't want that. So take a word from your old pal Ray, and make sure to check your Marks motors. And with that, I wish you all happy railroading. Alright, now that we're back from the break, let's run our final train of the day. The final train we'll be looking at is the Marks number 333, one of the biggest locomotives Marks has ever made. Now, this is one of the only two locomotives that uses a six-wheel motor. And honestly, I like this engine a lot. Now, yes, I know I don't have the right tender for it, but I do have a rare wedge-style tender with the uh, separately added ladder on the back, which I think it looks pretty good with. And also, fun fact, uh, K-Line actually got this tooling 
So this is actually was seen in a lot of starter sets. So come back for you there. There you have it, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, we are at 480 subscribers as of making this video, so make sure to subscribe because once I hit 500, I have a very special video planned for you guys. So, yeah. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and this is going to be Pen Sunshade 505, out.